Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World and today we're in Amboise, France. Beautiful place in the Loire Valley and we're in the Clos Doucet or basically the uh, the house where Leonardo da Vinci finished his life. So the last three years of his life he lived here in Amboise and that's the house he stayed in right up there and these are the gardens. It's a really cool place to check out. And today what we have for you are what you should see and do when you do come here to Amboise. It is a great base if you're going to be coming to the Loire Valley so I thought I'd give you some of the heads up. Now first thing you want to do when you do come here is obviously you want to go to the Chateau d'Ambois. The, the Chateau here is beautiful. When you come into town, you see the river, the Wa River going through there, rushing through with a great uh, island in the middle and kind of stuff. And you see the Chateau up on the hill, you're like, yes, I am in Loire. I am in the Chateau country of France. And it is so cool. And what's cool is you can easily get up to the Chateau from the town. It's no big problem at all. And you can walk through the Chateau. It's got great views of the whole area. You can see the river going up and downstream, things like that. When you go to the Chateau Ambois, you're going to see all these rooms that have the decorations and you'll see all the really cool stuff and the furniture and the beds and all this kind of things. But one of the things that's cool is they have this tower where you can see as it was made so the horses could ride up and it is a pretty kind of a cool thing and it comes out into a garden you can kind of enjoy and your kids can run around and have a nice time when they're up there. My kids are having a fun thing. It was cool is they have some, you know, window frames there to go oh this is a good picture for you and that, and that's pretty cool that's pretty nice for them to have and the thing is what's cool about the chateau if you are he if you are here in the summertime they do have a sound and light show that goes along with the chateau so at night they have the lights going and the music it is really kind of a cool thing to do we're here in the springtime and it hasn't started up yet so that's why there's no pictures of it but it is kind of a cool thing to do if you are here in the summer okay but the thing you really should do is when you do go up there you'll see when you come up there's a little chapel off to the side not in the chateau but like in the chateau grounds and that's the chapel where Leonardo da Vinci is actually buried because this is where he finished his life the last three years, years of his life was here in Amboise and it's really kind of a cool thing to do you go there and you see and it says oh Leonardo da Vinci oh man yeah he was here and it really kind of puts a little pot back into it I know my my nine-year-old's a big fan of da Vinci and he's like well this is him like yeah we told you this is where he finished his life he's like wow so he's actually here in the second place you should visit and that's Claude Doucet and that's the the house up here that's where he lived for the last three years and you can see his bedroom where he slept and look out the window where he could see the chateau and he really enjoyed that and that's really cool and what's cool is in there they have a lot of models of his designs and his projects and stuff like that and some of the stuff he tried to make it during his lifetime but some of the things they've recreated from the designs because they didn't make it at that time and it's cool because when you come to the Leonardo da Vinci Park which is this park here you have all kinds of his designs that are like almost life-size I mean some of them are miniature but some are life-size so you can see like what did that tank he designed look like and what was the you know over here there's, there's a paddle wheel and stuff like that how was that really made up and you really start to see is just how brilliant he really was and it gives you a really great feeling for just the whole overall da Vinci how magnificent he was he was really they say he was a futurist here in France because the stuff he was doing wasn't going to be happening for a long time they've got a design in there that shows the first you know like his design for an automobile that would run on its own and they have what's cool is they have the designs and then they have like a little video near it so you can see how it would kind of work because sometimes you're not really sure like the Archimedes screw that gets the water up like oh, okay I, I can kind of imagine that but when you see the car you're like what's oh and you see the video it is really cool and what's cool is this park here is really great for kids all kinds of stuff there's play areas for them and and what's cool is it they have play but it also has play for their minds they start to see is wow what is going on here that's why it's the second thing you should do here now a little cute thing is when you're walking from the chateau uh, to here you're gonna see these houses in the side of the rock it's like wait am i in hobbiton is this the shire are there hobbits gonna be coming out there no there's houses that are actually built into the side of the kind of the cliff wall there underneath the chateau and you'll see buildings like that well buildings are you know living areas I'm not sure it has holes caves throughout Loire and it's really cool because you can see it right there now I will tell you those are private residences so don't just go walk up and go look in because that's somebody's house and I don't think you'd like that so just just give you a heads up but it's pretty kind of cool to see when you are here now after you've seen the chateau in the in the hobbit caves and here in the the Clos Doucet you should really explore kind of the center of the old town the historic center because because the Rue Nationale, um, you have this main, main, main kind of strip where you can see the shops and stuff like that, and the pedestrian streets that are coming off of it, and walking around and the cafes around. It is just really a nice, like, wow, I'm, I'm in France kind of moment when you imagine like historical France, because this was a really important city in the history of France. The kings lived here, not, not there. They lived over the way, and some of them grew up actually there when they were kids.
kids. And the thing is, you see that money that was here, and you can see the history that's here in the architecture, in the buildings, in the, the whole setup of the city. And it is beautiful when you're here, because that bridge you'll walk over if you're going you know, through the little island or the chateau or to get your best picture of the chateau. You, you'll see that, and I'm like, wow, this has always been, for, a, for you know, a long time, a very important point in place in French history. And that's why it has some really cool stuff to see around here. And what's cool is Amblois makes a really good base to see the Loire Valley because it has a lot of accommodation. There's a lot of cheap eats here as well as expensive drinks and stuff like that. But I mean, for a tourist place, you get what you get. But the thing is, it has options, which is really nice. And also it has transport options. You can get the train. You can take the bus to some of the chateaus from here. You can arrange trips from here. There's, there's hotels with actual parking, which is nice because we've got eight eight people this time you know going around with us and we have all this kind of stuff and it's really cool because you can have that here in Amboise. And the thing is there's more than just the chateau and this there's you know you can go to the city hall and you can see the painting of you know da vinci dying and, and francois the first looking over him and these kind of things which is neat there's some historical things there you go to the saint denise church and see you know and see that that that's kind of a cool one to check out it's actually been a you know a temple and a, before you know before it was a church and all kinds of stuff so that's nice there's some just nice walks around here and what's cool is in loire you go for nature you go for places like this and if you're here you can go on a kayak tour okay you can rent bikes and go biking through Loire I mean dude this is just the coolest thing to do it's very much an outdoor city and an outdoor area and that's why it makes a really great base and if you don't want history and you just want to have that other fantastic part of France, wine, there are tons and tons and tons of different wineries here in, in Loire. And you can go to wine tastings from here in Ambois, no problem, okay? Now, if you have kids, I say come here to this park and go see the 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 Claude Doucet. That's cool in the park with all these things. But also you can go to the, the Zoo Beauval. I, I know I'm butchering the name, but it's actually the biggest part or the biggest zoo in France, one of the biggest zoos in Europe. You can go there and you see your lions, and tigers, and bears. Oh my! But the thing is, after all the chateaus, you, you, believe me, you get burned out of the chateaus after a while. Okay, it does kind of make for a nice time, especially if you have kids. Um, also, if you do like the chateaus, but you want to see them all really quickly, they actually have a mini chateau uh, like park, and you can see all of the not all of them, like pretty much a Ton of the chateaus in miniature to get an idea of all the stuff that it's out there and that's kind of cool to check out and what's cool is one of the most popular chateaus around in the Loire is actually only a 15 minute drive or 25 minute bus ride actually from here in Amboise and so that's a really nice thing that you can go and check out so I hope that helped you know a little bit more about Amboise if you want to learn more 10 facts about Amboise, five things you love and hate about Loire, uh, maybe 10 things that'll shock you about visiting France, or what should you eat here in Loire? We have all kinds of videos for you on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all those kind of things. And we really appreciate your likes and subscriptions, and we hope you have a great time here in the Loire Valley, especially here in Amboise. It is fantastic. It is well worth going to. Easy connections to Paris, easy connections to Tours. You'll be fine, and you'll get to see the chateaus. But I will tell you, don't do more than one or two chateaus a day because you, you really start to burn out really quickly. They all kind of merge together. So just give you a heads up on that one. Anyway, have a great time here, and we'll see you later. Au revoir from Amboise, France.